Writing computer code is quickly becoming one of the most in-demand skills in the workplace and many schools are starting to teach it to students. But if you think your kids are too young to learn code, think again. Joining us now in the studio is the founder and CEO of Hatch Canada, Peter Cooperman. Thank you for coming in to talk about this. Boy, we're hearing a lot about code all of a sudden. It used to be we just hear about you know computer programming, maybe understanding that kind of stuff. So what is the easy answer for what is code? So it's giving instructions to a computer so the computer does stuff for you yes. in different languages. Yes. So when we talk about the future of coding, which is essentially now, why is it such a great thing for people to be learning? So every field in industry from anthropology to zoology and everything in between is becoming a data information field. So if you want a career in the next 50 years, you should know how to code. And it's not just because of computers then. So as you mentioned, all these different professions and possibilities. So do you see it becoming a mainstream of a curriculum for, for kids? I think so. I mean, if, if lawyers and doctors are going to have to know how code works to use the tools on their computers yeah. 20 years from now, then, you know, everybody should be able to do that. So how young is too young? Or when, when should it start? When can it start? Right. So I think that code should be a break for life. That's, that's the main yeah. message. Um, you know, we have parents who come in with their five and six-year-olds and they tell them to wait. Um, and you know, by the time you get to about nine or ten, you can kind of do the critical thinking to work some through some of the multi-step problems. Okay. So I'd say around that age, eight, nine, ten. So and and at Hatch, and think, yeah. I mean, you're teaching different age groups to yes. to code. What it, it, tell us about the progression? What you brought in here as as what they might be presented with? Sure. Um, so. We use JavaScript to teach, and these are a bunch of uh, tools and, and toys that uh, teach different parts of code. So this is a board game that teaches logic that starts from age four. Um, okay. Uh, and so these are, I mean, it's a board game, but it's actually yeah. the beginning of code. Exactly. They're understanding. It's the beginning of code. Because when you're four, five, six years old, you, you can't type, right? I mean, it's, it's a little bit too early for that, but you can still learn the logic of how code works. Okay. So this next thing is a little robot. It's supposed to be the world's smallest robot. And it just follows lines. So we could actually just turn it on. Yeah. And we can just put it on here. And it'll follow the line everywhere that it's going. And each uh, color combination is a different code um, for like whether it should go fast or slow or turn left or turn right. Oh, and, I see. And you could actually create your own line over here, which we did. Um, so you could put the robot on here. And it'll actually continue to move. And, and each color represents a different d direction, a different Exactly. Yeah, message. so it's going to do something fun here because we, and then it's going to die because because it gets to the end of the line. But it can keep on going. But that's more, okay. Yeah. So this is already built. So, th so in that, that's how they teach them yeah, the, la at the least logic. a basic language, too. Exactly. Yes. To talk to the computer. So okay. the, this next thing is dash and dot. It's from age five or six plus, and it's just an, a little bit higher. You can actually connect it to your iPad and give it instructions using this um, Blockly language, which is basically puzzle piece programming. Okay. Which looks like it is yep. over there. That's nice. um, which is basically just you put together puzzle pieces, so you don't have to learn how to type, but you can still learn the, the logic of computer science. So even though you're not there typing that, the skill set is being developed so that exactly. you can get it for critical thinking. Yes. What have we got over here? Um, so this is Firo, which is uh, basically you can uh, do things like just change the color. You can also make it move around. You can make it jump. Uh, we have one trick over here which will make it go spastic. Let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, and, and that's yeah. not just an app. Like they're teaching how to make it do certain things like yes. lights. You can use the same language and basically give it programs so it you know, moves around like BB-8 from Star wow. Wars. Okay, and then um, into this. This looks yeah, so this is more sophisticated. Plus, and basically we open up the robot. You can see over there there's a circuit at the front. Right. And you have to put it all together and depending on how you put it together and what instructions you give it, you can make it do all sorts of neat things. So Because so, this looks exactly yeah. like you might find like a circuit board in a exactly. computer or whatever. So that's the very beginnings of putting a computer together. Exactly. So you start at age four and learn the logic and you finish with an open circuit board at age 12. Wow. And that really opens up the possibility for stuff you can do in high school and university. And it's fun for yes. kids. Because there's the, these games and they actually create. Before, I know we're at time, but just yeah. a very quick mention. Um, uh, you, what are the bananas doing here? <laughs> so this is a banana piano. Um, basically, you have to hold the ground, and then each of these should, if it works, um, it's not working. But okay, basically, not to worry. Uh, basically, oh, there look, you go. There you go. Basically, the makey-makey is a thing that connects the computer to the physical world. 
So we got a note out of it. Wow. Um, you could actually play Doa Deer if you wanted to with three bananas and a rhubarb. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I love that. So fascinating. Thank yeah. you for coming Absolutely. in. Appreciate it. For more information about Hatch Canada's camps and a list of coding toys for kids, visit our website, canadam.ctvnews.ca.